This is a review of the NRS Navigator semi-dry suit, um, which is fully Gore-Tex. Uh, and I had a chance to try it over a few days on the River Spey. And I also uh, tried out a whitewater centre where I went for a swim. So it's been used in the water and also for endless hours paddling. Um, it's got latex gaskets around the wrists, wrists um, and neoprene overcovers and a neoprene only neck, which is why it's called a semi-dry suit. So there's no latex neck gasket. It's got a great storm hood and it's got a relief zip, which is absolutely essential. Definitely windier today and it's yeah, pretty cloudy. I'm pretty toasty. See if I don't overheat. Decided to try out the uh, dry suit, or the semi dry suit, um, which is all breathable. It's a navigator suit. So we'll see how it goes. I've already had a swim in it in some white water, and it seemed to do the job. That was on a separate trip. We'll see how we go with it. So, leaving lunch, a few drops of rain in the air, and a bit of wind. Easy to get chilly actually. Uh, nice and toasty dry and warm. All is good. This is the hood which provides loads of protection in foul weather. It has um, a little retaining strap and a popper, so you can hold it down when you don't want to use it. It doesn't fold down completely, but keeps most of it out of the way, as you can see. And you can see the neoprene neck, so no latex gasket, but it kept all the water out for me and was really comfortable. And at the wrists, you've got the outer neoprene and the latex gaskets inside. And no water got in there either. And on each arm, there are these small pockets you can put a few things in. There's a relief zip, which is absolutely essential on long days out paddling. And it's front entry with the neoprene waist uh, to keep things tight. And that also helps you keep everything up when you've got the top off and rolled down. It's all front entry, so you can put it on your own. And there's plenty of protection at the neck. So this is really nice and snug in foul weather with a decent hood. And what you want in a suit like this, which you're going to wear all day long, I was wearing it uh, pretty much eight hours plus a day, uh, and then sometimes you're portaging and you're hauling gear around, uh, so it needs to be nice and comfortable and breathable and this uh, very much was. Um, in fact, it was comfy enough. I didn't even take it off at the end of the day whilst I was setting up camp. And as you can see, it makes you look pretty sexy. Wow, you look so perfect. I'll hit the ground. If you keep on looking at me like that I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my break Just what I do when I'm out
手。Here we go. Washing machine time. It's just paradise. Semi dry suit, should I say. It's been really good actually. Thought it might be overkill, but as I'm doing this solo, it's all self rescue and the water's really cold and things can go wrong very quickly. So if I'd come a cropper and come out, I'll just stay nice and toasty warm. Just float without my canoe to, to the sea. And it's been really breathable. I thought nearly to put it on today, so it would be overkill, but actually it's, it's really good. Um, I'm not too hot, it's quite a cool sea breeze. Um, I think they said it was going to be about 12 to 14 degrees, uh, but actually really comfy. Uh, and the nice thing is, I think latex around my neck would have been too much. Um, the neoprene's much more comfortable. So, really good. I was expecting to be sitting along here in the driving rain and that would have been nice and dry. But it's yeah, worked really well. Really good. And no leaks. We've made it. Touch the sea. And for extending your paddling season and touring in cold water, this is a great suit.